Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for the Maze Runner, the Scorched Trails, Trials. Um, so yeah, and this movie stars Dylan O'Brien, Kai Hung Lee, Kaya Scuderio, Thomas Brody Sangster, Dexter Darden, Alexander Flores, Jacob Laughland, Rosa Salazar, um, Giancarlo Esposito, um, Patricia Clarkson, Aidan Gillen, Terry, Terry Dale Park, Parks, Parker, Parks, Catherine Smith, McGlynn, Lil Taylor, and Barry Pepper. And yeah, before I begin though, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual. For those of you that actually watched this movie and haven't already, um, stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already, uh, please do comment down below, be messaging me, and I never gave you fair warning, because as usual, I did. <sighs> yeah, so as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and rate. So basically, the Maze Runner, Scorch Trials, um, basically, it's, you know, right after the first Maze Runner, uh, we have our characters, we have our protagonists, um, they're sent to this facility, which is a wicked facility, like, which is the antagonist of the series, Wicked. Um, wicked. So, yeah, basically sent to this facility, and at first it looks like everything's pretty alright, you know, it seems like they actually care for these children, and come to find out that they're experimenting on them, it turns out there's this disease, um, that turns everybody into these, like, 28 days later type of zombies, and these teenagers, um, likely have the cure to them, thing is, it's kind of in their enzymes and in their brains, so it's not really something you can reproduce, it's more like something you have to harvest, and you have our group who who decides to escape into the Scorch, which is basically this humongous fucking desert, wasteland all over the cities, it looks like Los Angeles or, or San Diego or San Francisco, it looks like it's in California, because I either, because you see the landscape, and it looks like the San Francisco Bridge or whatever, or the San Diego bridge or whatever the golden gate bridge or wherever the fuck that is it looks like it's around there um so yeah it looks like it's in california Ca california love I mean, it will make sense because it's right next to nevada and most of nevada is just desert um so yeah and even after that most california is a pretty big ass desert to begin with um whatever so they're you know they're going they're you know they're going into the scorch they're trying to find the right arms or whatever, which is this rebellion against Wicked, and yeah, at the end, they do find this resistance, um, however, Teresa, for whatever fucking reason, she decides to call up the Wicked people, tell them their position, because she now believes in Wicked and what they're trying to do, and yeah, Teresa's a bitch, Minnow gets captured, and fuck, um, Teresa, I would have shot that bitch in her face after I found out. Um, yeah, uh, with the old lady and the, um, the guy from Game of Thrones, who was, the guy from Game of Thrones, I forget his name, but he's in here for a huge ass fucking time, he's a pretty big, um, big ass villain, um, oh, I forget, I have the face, I can't, Aiden Gill Gillen, Gillian, or whatever, he, that was the guy from Game of Thrones, like, he just had that evil face, even off the trailer, so, like, oh, you're bad news, of course, um, so, yeah. Overall, it's, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this, it's a good movie, I'll give it that much, it's a good movie, however, I don't really know how I feel about this movie, I don't know if it's better or worse than the previous movie, because the previous movie was more like a Lord of the Flies type of uh, situation or whatever, and they're just trying to escape this maze, um, like Lord of the Flies or whatever, I, I think that's what it's called, this one, I feel like there's things, there's things that they improved upon from the previous film, or there's things that I feel like they kind of went back off from the previous film. So it's like a mixed bag. They had more action in this film. They had more action in this film, and I thought the action here they did was pretty good, especially with these zombie-like, um, 28 days later type of creatures with their eyes fucking bulged out. I thought that was pretty cool. I just, I mean, because I'm a huge fan of zombie films in general, and I haven't read the books, so I have no idea how this relates to the books, or how this is in the books, but, you know, this... This infection, first off, this infection kind of just comes out of, it kind of just comes out of left field. Um, like, they, they they start hinting at it in this film, like, at the beginning, like, oh yeah, you guys have a cure for this disease. And then come to find out, the, the disease is a 
fucking zombie, this, this zombie like 28 days later bullshit. So yeah, I mean that was that was interesting. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea how I actually feel about this movie. It's good. I'll give it that much. It's a, it's actually a pretty good film. Now, how good? I'm, I'm gonna start off with this. It's not fantastic, okay? Um, it has problems. It has its flaws. The action is pretty good. The 28 Days Later bullshit. That was. Although I have no idea as to, as to why the fuck it's even in here, I thought it was pretty good, okay? Now, I don't know why it's in here. It just comes out of left field. I didn't enjoy it. I wish they would have explained that a bit more. Um, the pacing is a little bit all over the place. You have this one... At one point, they kind of go over this giant drug trip or whatever, which is really fucking weird, because they come across this one... Right before they meet up the, with the Rebellion, they, they come across this one society, I guess, or small group, and basically they drug the teenagers, and then they send them to Wicked. But my first question is, how many teenagers are in this fucking world? Because I'd assume most of these teenagers are either in the mazes, because they do say, oh yeah, by the way, there's several fucking mazes. So that's one thing. So either, you know, I thought most of the teenagers are either in the mazes or are being harvested by Wicked by this point. And apparently they have several Wicked facilities. So I'm just thinking, how many teenagers have escaped? I mean, we see a few of them with the Rebellion, which we see about a few, like two or three of them with the Rebellion. We know our, our group has about 10 of them. But aside from that, we see like the extras and whatever. They're like, shit, how many of you ha are actually out there? Um, so yeah. Um, I don't know how I feel. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how I feel. Um, it's a good film, that's all I'm gonna say. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 mean the worst, 10 mean the best, and 6 mean decent. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's a pretty good film. I don't know how I feel about it compared to the first one. There are things I like that's, that's better than the first one. But however, I think that there are some stuff... They could have done better in this film. I think the first one um, did better. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's some character. De there was character development. I just wish there could have been more. Um, so I mean, there's some like the zombie virus is just what really caught me off, like out of left field. It, it was a pretty cool scene, like in this abandoned um, mall, which was pretty cool, but it just kind of came out of left field. Um, so yeah, overall, it was still a pretty good movie. Definitely do check it out, especially if you saw the first one. And the director um, of the first of this one, and, um, of the Maze Runner and Scorch Trials, Wes Ball, I believe, is gonna make the third one, and he has confirmed that it is not gonna be split into two parts. So that's that's pretty cool. That's good, actually. I think. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I don't. I, again, I haven't read the books, um, but I assume it doesn't have to be split into two parts. I have no idea. I'll find out next year. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below your thoughts on the movie. Have you seen it? And if not, why not? If you have, what are your thoughts on it? Comment all that down below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.